Um, so far, about uh, it is our estimate that uh, roughly uh, 3,400 uh, Indian nationals have either been either, have either registered online or they are in touch uh, with the embassy. More specifically, I think 3,000 odd have already registered online, 3,100, and roughly an additional 300 are in touch with the with the mission. Um, embassies principal thrust and government of india's uh, uh, focus in this entire effort has been to advise and assist the standard indian nationals uh, advise them to remain safe and move them help them move to secure locations uh, whenever feasible whether in the middle of the night or during the day of course after carefully evaluating the conflict situation on the ground. Uh, furthermore, as soon as the conflict broke out, uh, the Ministry of External Affairs set up a 24-7 control room up on the third floor of this building. Uh, that control room continues to uh, run 24-7 uh, and will continue to do so till we have uh, overcome the current situation and it resolved it fully. As part of our efforts, the External Affairs Minister, Dr. Jay Shankar, also reached out to foreign ministers of other key partners who, whose nationals were also uh, stuck in Sudan. These included uh, foreign ministers of, of the US, UAE, Saudi Arabia, uh, Egypt, uh, and uh, last night, Shankar also had a conversation with the, with the UK foreign ministers. Uh, this is over and above uh, his meetings with the UN Secretary General in New York on April 20th, focused exclusively on the situation in Sudan with a view to uh, making an assessment that would help Government of India efforts to bring back the standard Indians uh, there. Uh, you uh, would have seen reports, of course, that the Honorable Prime Minister uh, last Friday uh, chaired a uh, high power meeting in which he personally reviewed uh, and directed uh, the officials of government of India to take suitable measures, all suitable measures, to uh, assist and bring back the standard Indians. Uh, as part of uh, uh, our efforts, uh, two C-130 aircraft of Indian Air Force uh, have been mobilized and are constantly positioned in Jeddah, um, have been there since 19th of April. Uh, we also set up a control room in Jeddah and uh, a control room in Port Sudan. Uh, so we have two control rooms uh, working uh, along with our embassy. So there's, there's a full uh, triangulation of efforts between a control room in Jeddah uh, with a, through our consulate and mission in Riyadh through the control room team in uh, Port Sudan, um, which is the northeastern uh, coast of uh, Sudan, and our embassy uh, in Khartoum city. And of course, each of uh, these three hubs are coordinating their efforts and direction to bring back the standard Indians with the headquarters uh, in Delhi. Uh, two naval ships have also been positioned as part of Government of India efforts. Uh, INS Sumedha was the first one to dock, uh, took up, uh, picked up roughly uh, 300 odd Indians yesterday, um, brought them to Port Jeddah, and is today back in Port Sudan to fetch the next group of Indians and bring them to uh, safe harbors. Um, yesterday, uh, the other ship, INS Teg, also docked at Port Sudan, uh, bringing uh, of course, our control rooms, uh, uh, control room team, uh, and additional resources which were required for this uh, purposes of bringing back the standard Indians. I'm informed that third ship, INS Tarkash, uh, has also reached uh, Port Sudan today as part of our efforts. Now, 